Hi, my name is Jess Van Koningsveld, and I'm here with you for another Training Tip Tuesday. And today I wanted to chat with you about carrier training, um, how to help your cat feel comfortable in their carrier, which is really helpful if you need to take your cat to the vet or, you know, go anywhere. Um, we want them to feel comfortable in that carrier. So again, my name is Jess Van Koningsveld, and I'm the Cat Behavior Specialist at the Humane Society of Huron Valley. Um, where we put a lot of cats in carriers. So um, it's important to know um, how to help your cat feel safe in there. So your cat in the carrier, we know that most cats only see their carriers when something scary is gonna happen, right? I mean, they're getting in the carrier to go to the vet most often, that's when our cats leave the house. So, and kind of on top of that, a lot of cats are uncomfortable with being picked up in order to be put into the carrier. So we've got kind of this trigger stacking, you know, they, um, I'm scared of being picked up. This carrier is a scary thing that takes me to a scary place. And a lot of times it smells like a scary place. It smells like the vet. So um, what can we do to help with that? Well, let's start by making that carrier safe and kind of take the novelty out of it. It's not something that only comes out when we're going to the vet. We're gonna make it part of their environment. Um, it's gonna live in the environment so that they are used to it. We're gonna reward curiosity when they show interest in their carrier. We're gonna encourage them to explore their carrier, carrier and we're gonna train them to love it. We can start by leaving the carrier out in a safe, comfortable communal space and to make it appealing. That means it kind of lives in the space in your home that you spend time in, um, much like a dog crate could. Um, we're going to put a bed or a familiar spelling blanket or a towel in the carrier and just leave it in a space that's occupied by caregivers and their favorite things. That way, it's just part of life. It's there. I can sleep in it if I want. I can check it out if I want. It's just there. It's not something hiding in the basement um, that only comes out to take me to scary places. You can also try and leave uh, feel away, use feel away spray and spray um, towels that are in the carrier or put a feel away diffuser nearby. That can help as well. This is just a picture of my cat's carrier in the cat corner of my living room. Um, it's one of the carriers I use. I have a cat that really likes this particular kind of carrier, so hers is out all the time. Um, her food's not always there. Um, this is a dog safe area, so um, that's kind of part of her, um, her living space in the living room. So we're going to reward for courage and curiosity. Basically, that means if your cat walks near the carrier, we're going to give you a reward. You walked near it. That's amazing. Let's reward you for it. Um, we're just going to continue to reward over and over again for any interest in the carrier. Um, if you walk by it, if you look at it, um, depending on how fearful you are of it, uh, we're going to reward any time you show some interest in that carrier. We're going to encourage them to explore the carrier. We can feed them in their carrier. We can leave treats in there kind of at all times. We can put catnip in there. Um, anything to encourage them to go into the carrier um, to explore it and kind of get used to it and for it to become kind of this no longer is it this novel scary thing. It's just part of my environment. There's food in there. It's kind of cool. I like hanging out in there. We can also clicker train our cats to go into the carrier. Um, mark and reward the behavior. It starts by taking the top off. Um, that's the best way to kind of get going on that. Take that top off of there. We're going to reward for curiosity. And as they put more and more of their body in the carrier, we're going to up the stakes. We can reward for a paw in the carrier. We can reward for any exploration into the carrier. And once they're fully into the carrier, you can try those steps with the top on. Um, basically, we're consistently pairing treats with the acceptance of the carrier um, through clicker training. And if you do a Google search for um, clicker train uh, carrier training, you're going to come up with some great results on how to do this in uh, much more depth. So we know that if our cat can become more comfortable with the carrier, it can help um, with vet visits. But even if we've done all this work to make the carrier feel safe and feel like part of the environment, you know, they're used to going in there because there are food and treats in there. Sometimes um, cats will get very used to, you know, you toss a treat in there and they just walk in because it's become a part of their environment. So we've done all of these things um, to help make the carrier less scary, but it won't help if the vet visits remain stressful and scary. So um, because this is pretty much one of the only times cats leave the house, it's important that we pair the work we do with the carrier with finding a vet situ uh, a vet interaction that is not as scary um, as it you know 
that's going to be quite fearful for cats. So we can work with pheromones um, like feel away is a great um, choice. You can ask your veterinarian about behavior medications that be, can be given just prior to your vet visit that will help them feel more comfortable and safe. And you want to pair with a vet who utilizes low stress techniques. Um, anything to make that visit less stressful is going to help. You've done all this work with your carrier to help them feel safe. You know, um, let's see if we can turn the vet visit into a less stressful thing so that now we've got a carrier that feels like home and a vet that feels less scary. I want to thank you um, for stopping by for this training tip. Um, there's lots and lots of great information on the internet um, about clicker training to help your cat feel safe with a carrier. Um, but overall, if we just make sure that it's part of their environment and reward them for showing any interest in it, make it a very comfortable and safe place with blankets and towels that smell like them, um, and very consistently keep this a part of their environment and keep feeding them in or near it and keep offering treats and catnip in it, um, making it part of their life, um, we can definitely help them feel less fearful of the carrier. So thanks so much for stopping by and um, can't wait to chat with you next time. Thanks so much.